Now, problem one shows an unhealthy obsession with trig identities. But thankfully, all we need is some basic trigonometry plus a careful dissection of the problem here. So we're going to have to perform a bit of surgery here and pick out the parts of the integral and see what they actually simplify to. So first up, notice that we have to square these two bad boys, right? So on expanding the squares, we're going to get a squared sine of 20x plus a squared cosine of 20x, which gives us 1. We're also going to have a squared sine of 22x plus a squared cosine of 22, oh, sorry about that, squared cosine of 22x, which again gives us 1. And notice the 3 here. So on expanding the square, we're going to get a 9 times the square of the sine of 21x, as well as the corresponding cosine term, which gives us 9 times 1, which is 9. So add up all the stuff and you get an 11 that I'm just going to write here on the side so I don't forget this later. And what about the cross terms? Well, the cross terms will give rise to 1, 2 times sine 20x times uh, sine 22x plus a cosine 20x times the cosine of 22x as well as a 6 times the sine of 20x times sine 21x plus uh, the cosine of 21x times the cosine of 20x already then. And again, you have 6 times the sine of 21x times the sine of 22x and the corresponding product for the cosine as well. Okay, and all of these expressions can be simplified using the addition of angles formula for the cosine function. So we know that cosine x plus y can be expanded as, wait a second, we're going to need a minus sign here so that we get cosine x times cosine y plus sine x times sine y. So that means for the first expression here, you get 2 times the cosine of 20 minus 22, which is negative 2x. But again, the cosine is an even function, so you don't have to care about the negative sign. So you have 2 times cosine 2x. And for the second expression, we have 6 times the cosine of x. And the same thing for the third expression. And this simplifies our work quite a bit. So we can call the integral i. And this reduces to the square root, uh, the integral of the square root of 11 plus 2 times the cosine of 2x, plus adding up the 2 6 times cosine x terms, we get two, uh, 12 times the cosine of x, and we're integrating with respect to x, of course. And cosine 2x can be expanded using the double angle formula as 2 times the squared cosine of x minus 1. So we have the integral of the square root of multiplying out by 2. We have 4 times the squared cosine plus 12 times the cosine plus 11 minus 2, which is 9. And all that's left now is to complete the square. So you can write this as the integral of the square root of 2 times the cosine of x squared, plus 2 times 2 cosine x times 3, which sits well with the 9 term here because it's the square of 3. Alrighty then. So we have the integral of the square root of the square of 2 times cosine x plus 3. And the square and the square root cancel out pretty nicely, and we're left with the positive or negative integral of 3 plus 2 times the cosine of x dx, which evaluates out to 3x plus or minus, that is 3x plus 2 times sine x, plus a constant of integration c. And that wraps up problem 1.